Hey guys, let's see how to connect this HY300 projector to a computer. As you can see, the projector is just right here working. I have the image back there on the wall. And here I have a computer, it's a mini computer. And here's the monitor, it's connecting via HDMI cable. Let me just approach here so you see that I have more than one connection. You see I have two HDMI ports here. One of them I just connect to the monitor and the other one is not connected yet. So I have just the cable here and I can just come to the projector and use the HDMI port and connect here, okay? That's one way to go. Then I'm gonna have a working with the HDMI cable and I can also do a connection to work without cables. Let's start with this one with cables. There we go, I just connect and I need to go there and change to the HDMI input, right? You see that something changes here, start like flashing, right? Because it detects that I have the other cable connected already. But don't forget, you need to go there with your remote control, go to HDMI and select the HDMI input, right? So see that's now it's working, it's a black screen there, but if I move the mouse here, you see that it goes there, right? It's extending the monitor. Then I can just come here to the computer, right click and go to display settings. And here I'm gonna see the two displays, number one and two. When I click here, identify, I see number one here, that's the monitor and number two back there, that's the projector, right? So basically working and I can just swap places if I want to. Number one now here, two that way. Then when I move the mouse to the left side or right side, it goes accordingly, right? I need to just apply here and works that way. And also I can change one on the top of the another, right? And works like this. So again, identify number one and two. I'm gonna leave like this and apply. And I can move my mouse and go there. I can also extend, uh, instead of extend the display, I can mirror the display. Let me just show here better that I can just come here and duplicate the display. Now I have the same display here and there. I just need to keep changes if I want to do that way. Right now it's, it says here one slash two because I'm duplicating the display. I like to do that way here uh, extending because then I can just show something here or take a look at or something here on the screen while I'm doing a presentation back there in the other monitor because I can just drag and drop everything back there, okay? Just extend the monitor and work like this. So that's one way to go. Okay, just using here your projector connecting to a monitor and to the uh, connect your computer connecting to a monitor, sorry, and your projector connecting to uh, an HDMI cable so I can see both at the same time, or I can use without cables. Let me just show here without cables. Let me just unplug here. So right now I don't have the cable anymore, right? And now I have just the image here on my computer. So what I have to do here, and I'm just close this and start fresh. I need to make sure that I have computer, the computer and the projector connected to the same network. That's the first step to use without cables. So let me just come back there to the projector. Take a look at there on the settings. Depending on the model that you have, you just need to look for your Wi-Fi settings or network settings. Here I have network settings and here I have wireless network and I can confirm that I'm have the projector connecting to this network, which is the my Wi-Fi dash 24, right? Then I do the same here with my computer. I go here to my Wi-Fi and see that I'm connecting to this, the same network here, right? Take a look at there and let's just get some focus. There we go. There we go. It's connecting there to my Wi-Fi dash 24, okay? I can also see from here. And you can just select your network here. See, it's connected to this one, so I'm good to go. That's the first step. Both of them connecting to the same network. Then I come here to the projector, just come back and look for the application to mirror the screen or screencast or something. In my case here, I just look for my apps and a screencast. Just look for this option there and look for a mirror cast. Your menu could be a little bit different compared to mine, but basically you just need to find mirror cast and 
enable it, right? Here I have an orange button back there that I can just come here and hit start. And now you see that I can just look for this device with this name, HY300 Pro Plus Dash 6524. That's the name that I'm gonna find the device, right? And to do this on my computer now, I'm gonna find this device back there, right? So I just need to come here and use this keyboard. Let me just show the details here with the Windows key and K. I press both at the same time. You see here on my computer that I get this screen. Oh, sorry guys, I got the wrong combination here. Let me try again, Windows K. There we go. Now you see here that I have this menu, right? Let me just approach there so you see better that it's looking for the devices and it found the device here, a Roku streaming stick and the HY300 Pro. Then I click here, it's connecting, right? So I just wait for it connect. And back there, I'm gonna see something. You see it already connected, right? The first time that I do this is going to ask for confirmation, right? So shows up a message on the screen there asking for confirmation. But this is the second time that I'm doing it and then I don't need to confirm anymore. It's just go there and you see that I have both working at the same time, okay? So here I can control now, duplicate the screen from here, extend or whatever I wanna do from here. And then this monitor now is a secondary monitor. So I can just change the way I want, right? This is a primary monitor. This one is a secondary monitor and works pretty fine. Now I have a Wi-Fi connection directly from here and I have the computer and the projector working at the same time, right? But I can just have one of them if I want to. If I just come here and connect the cable, just to show you that I'm not using any cables at all now, right? You see here, you rearrange it there, you see it. It makes bigger and now it knows that I have just one screen working. So basically the computer is connecting without any cables here. So just via Wi-Fi. There we go, small computer here, connecting via Wi-Fi and it's showing everything back there. Okay, so working without cables. So super, super simple. I like to work with uh, at least one extra monitor. So I have the cable connected here. Let me just connect it back. So I can have at least one monitor here working, okay? Let's say you have a laptop, for example. You can have the monitor on your laptop and also the mirror screen there on the projector, right? But if I have a computer that you need to connect cables, if you have just one uh, HDMI port, you can do this as well, okay? With one HDMI connecting to the monitor here and the, uh, the other image here, the display, via wireless to your projector. So super, super simple. So both ways to do it without cables or, or with cables. So guys, basically that's the way you can connect your HY300 projector to a computer with cables or without cables. I hope this helps you. Just leave your comments here. If it works for you, if it doesn't work, you can just leave your question here. That, that happens other, that, that helps other people as well, right? So leave your comments there, subscribe to this channel, and I see you in the next video.